Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for coming out this afternoon. I'm uh, just going to have a couple of quick speeches, um, and I'll just start by inviting uh, the Health Minister, Amber Day Sanderson, to Hi everyone, I will start by acknowledging the traditional owners on the land on which we meet today and pay my respects to their elders past, present and emerging and also acknowledge that uh, it is Eid Mubarak uh, for those in the room that are celebrating that. And I want to acknowledge my parliamentary colleague um, Ayor who is here today and of course the wonderful Anna Lee who we are all here uh, to celebrate, uh, but we are really here to thank you and thank all of you for, for your efforts in electing a federal Labor government. Uh, and I, I don't know about anyone else, but I just feel, since that election day, I just feel like the grown-ups are back in charge. Of the country, that we're not careening off course, that we're not picking fights internationally, we're not squabbling internally, that we're actually acting, you know, the way we all and the community conduct ourselves like grown ups. We can have our differences, but we, we do it respectfully, kindly, and with compassion. And that is the kind of country that we are. And we now have a federal government who actually reflects the values of, of, of Australia and who reflects the values of Western Australia. And it is an enormous relief. It's an enormous relief for everyone. Please come through. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's been a long time coming. It's been a long, long time coming. And in Western Australia, what a result. What an incredible result. And that is testament to the great candidates that we had on the ground. Fantastic candidates we had on the ground. And of course, all of the work that you did in this room and all of the work that the thousands of Labor volunteers have been doing for the last 12 months at least. Door knocking, letterboxing, phone calling, polling booths, the dreaded pre-poll that everyone does. But we all need to be out. And we cannot win these elections. We cannot win these elections without you. So thank you. Thank you very much for all of your work. Now, I do have um, the honour of introducing Anne, who's going to address you all. And Anne, as we've well, known Anne for many years, and she has fought too, prior to this election, fought too hard, very, very close for very nasty elections um, in the seat of Cowan. And she has, she has prevailed every single time, despite everything that has been thrown at her. To top that off, she got redistributed into what was almost an entirely new seat after that. So after uh, six years of work, you have to switch and introduce yourself to a whole new community. Now we're really, we're really blessed and really, really chuffed that we have Anne as our local federal member, but that is a lot of work and a daunting task. So, um, but she took on that task and she, and she won that seat and not only won it, but won it comfortably. Really, really comfortably. For a state member, that is that's incredible. Because because quite frankly, my seat has been a tough, tough to ask for federal labour. It's never really come home for federal labour, my seat. And so and Anne as the candidate, we now have such a strong showing federally. Um, it's it's fantastic to have Anne there. And not only that. And is now a senior member of the Albanese government. We have a senior yeah. voice at the table matters. It matters. So we have great senior representation with Anne and Patrick in our local area. I'm very proud. I'm very pleased to have Anne as a colleague, and I'm delighted that uh, we're able to be all here today to thank you for the work. And I'll introduce Anne. Thank you. Thank you, um, thank you so much, Amber Jay. And um, I'm going to start by also acknowledging the traditional owners of the land on which we meet and pay my respects to their elders, past, present, and emerging. Also, want to wish uh, Eid Mubarak to anyone here who is 
celebrating today. It's a very special day uh, for us. And uh, six years ago on Eid al-Adha was the day that I gave my first speech in Parliament. So every year on Eid al-Adha, I'm reminded of uh, the journey uh, that I am on. And of course, it's not a journey that I walk on my own. It's a journey that I walk with each and every one of you beside me. Uh, I'd like to acknowledge uh, Minister, the Honourable Amber Jade Sanderson, Minister for Health, Mental Health and the Member for Morley. And I know that we are going to have a wonderful working relationship going forward, carrying on the work that we've done together in the past. My sister, Ayur Makupjot, MLC, the Member for the North Metropolitan Region. Um, but also a special thank you to Ayur for her wonderful support um, her kinship and her sisterhood through this time. Uh, Councillor James Rowe, where's James? Is that James? Where's Councillor? Oh, there he is, Councillor James Rowe from the City of Wanneroo. And Meredith Hammett, the member for Mira Booker, uh, sent me a message. She sends her apologies today. She's away with uh, family and friends, and I know that we all wish her well. Um, each and every one of you in this room deserves acknowledgement. Whether, you know, it was just a, a single conversation that you had with somebody about an incoming federal Labor government and what that would mean for Australia, or whether you spent hours at pre-poll or hours on the phone or hours in my company pounding the pavement. There are a few people here who have been with me from day one, and I just want to take a moment to especially recognise them. Um, Lewis, can you stand up for a minute, please? <laughs> Lewis joined the Campaign for Cowan in 2016, and I never get tired of seeing Lewis's face. <laughs> even, over, even over three campaigns, Lewis, I can't thank you enough for your steadfastness um, and your true belief in the Labor Party, your true Labor values, and your, your unwavering belief in me. Thank you. I really appreciate it. Um, a couple of other people here in the room, and I'm going to try and see if I can see them. Where's Bob? Bobby! Bobby! <laughs> I can't tell you um, how many mornings <laughs> Bob and I spent together while we're boarding, <laughs> or on train stations. We pounded the pavement from Miranda to Mirabuka to oh, Alexander Heights. Bob was always there with a smiling face and a fabulous sense of humour that just made everything seem so worthwhile. Thank you. Mark, another true champion. What can I say about Mark? Whatever time of day it was, there was Mark, ready, willing and able to, to come along for a walk or, you know, on the phones and, you know, without, without you, Mark, really by my side this whole time, um, you just, you're just a champion, fabulous. Thank you so much for everything that you've done. Uh, there are, of course, many more in the room, and forgive me if I if I forget to mention you, but I do have to give a huge shout out to Robert. Right there, <laughs> who spent hours and hours at pre poll um, through the rain, through the sun, mostly rain, wasn't it? Mostly rain. <laughs> Dealing with the numpties from the uh, United Australia Party. <laughs> With grace <laughs> and 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 ultimate patience. Thank you, thank you, Robert. You did it, everything that you did did not go unnoticed, and I am forever in your gratitude, in your debt. Thank you. And of course, my brothers Al and Ibrahim. I don't know if you've checked out my Facebook, but there's the, the, the most fabulous picture of the campaign of the three of us walking along. I can't remember even what suburb it was, outdoor knocking together, um, flanked by these two great brothers of mine. Uh, we would go door knocking in Bal I think it was Balladura that we went door knocking that day. Beach bar. Beach bar. It was Beach Bar, see? Yeah. <laughs> what do I know? They all fade into each other after a while. 
Um, and of course, so many more of you here who came door knocking at your uh, where's Nipple? This this young lady, can I just say, was out door knocking at nine months pregnant. So we give her an extra hand for that. And every time I saw her, I thought that baby's coming while we were out I just know it. I just know the baby's going to come and we're going to be end up taking an ambulance. Um, and congratulations, Nebel gave birth to a, to a beautiful, beautiful baby boy, um, a healthy, beautiful baby boy, and, and much congratulations to you. And I believe uh, he is the youngest member of Labor. <laughs> Uh, and definitely, uh, it's actually she. Oh, girl! Why did I think of my boy? I know. I want to put her in people with everything. A girl. She is the youngest volunteer that we have. Even younger than. Where's my little Annabelle? Annabelle. Annabelle came out door knocking with us. Do you remember Annabelle? Yeah. And Annabelle would always be the one who wanted to ring the doorbell and knock on the door. And she did such a fabulous job. Did a fabulous job coming out door knocking with her mum, Ada. Uh, and every single one of you who came out door knocking or picked up a phone or, as I said, just had a conversation, one conversation, you made the difference. You made um, Cowan a 10% safe seat for federal labour. Oh my goodness, I can't remember. That is still still telling me. Uh, I remember on the night of the of the election, we were in um, we were at my house, and Tom was uh, on my uh, on the sofa doing the numbers, and he goes, "Oh, I just have to check these numbers again." <laughs> We've got to maintain it. <laughs> Lighter. It felt happier. It felt like there had been a dark cloud that was just washed away with a Labor victory. And everywhere that I've been, whether it's right here in Cowan or you know, we were in Darwin the other day, we, we rose in uh, Adelaide, um, where else have we been? We just got, back, just got back from Sydney last night and Melbourne. Everywhere that we go, Australia feels different. It really does. It really feels like a different country. People seem happier. Despite the fact that, you know, all this inflation and, you know, economic debt, and people just feel like there is hope and we can be proud of our government. We can be proud of our Prime Minister who is out there on the world stage making amends uh, for, the, for the, the damage that the previous government did. I know when I first visited the Department of Education, which is where my portfolios of early education, early childhood education and care and youth are, um, the department itself felt like there was a new era, a new era of cooperation between politicians and bureaucrats a new era of cooperation between federal and state. No more fighting um, each other. No more rules. No more forcing departments to do things that they didn't want to do. No more undermining the experts, whether it's in education or climate change. We now have a country that works together. We pity to me um, how much you mean to the country and how much what you did, no matter how big or most or how small, has been a part of history in this country. So before I let you get back to the eating and the drinking, I just want to take one more minute just to thank my office staff, my ever-suffering office staff. And I'd like to bring them up here on the stage with me. So come on up, come on Tom, Rose. Rose, come on, come on, Tom. Come on, Rose. Dean, Iman, Daniel. He's the office security guard. We call him Double O Day. Come on, come on, you guys. Um, Rose, come in a minute. Here he goes. What are you doing over there? 
Do you know, all through the election campaign, she was my boss. And oh. we're going door knocking now. And soon as I it, she's like, excuse me, Minister. I'm like, Minister, five minutes ago, you were bossing me around. <laughs> uh, these are the people that are part of my family. Right? They're not just, I always say to them, don't call me your boss. You don't work for me, you work with me. To me, um, how much you mean to the country and how much what you did, no matter how big or no or how small, has been a part of history in this country. So before I let you get back to the eating and the drinking, I just want to take one more minute just to thank my office staff. My ever suffering as a staff. And I'd like to bring them up here on the stage with me. So come on up, come on, Tom. Rose, Rose, come on, come on, Tom. Come on, Rose, Dean, Iman, Daniel. He's the office security guard, but come on, double O day. Come on, come on, you guys. Um, Rose, come in a minute. Here we go. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Do you know, all through the election campaign, she was my boss. And we're going door knocking now. And soon as I it, she's like, excuse me, Minister. I'm like, Minister, five minutes ago, you were bossing me around. Uh, these are the people that are part of my family. Right? They're not just, I always say to them, don't call me your boss. You don't work for me, you work with me. Um, for the hard work that they showed not just during the election campaign, uh, but you know, every day in ensuring that our office provides a quality service to those people most in need. Many people don't reach out to their federal member of parliament until they are at a crisis point. You know, pensioners who have had their pension paid to them for six months or so. You know, people who are entitled to a Centrelink benefit but are finding it difficult. People on temporary protection visas, which we're abolishing by the way. A very, very, very cruel regime that needs to go with the, the, the last government. Um, you know, people on the on the uh, on the Hindu card, another thing that we're abolishing by the way. Another cruel regime that is going to be relegated to the annals of history in Australia. These are the people that make sure that people who are in a desperate situation, who are so desperate that they think that reaching out to their federal member is the last hope that they've got. These people here are the people who make sure that they're looked after. Um, really, I am nothing without these people behind me and these people in front of me here. Uh, so can I just get a round of applause? That Man, Daniel, Rose, Dean, and Tom. And let's just have another round, kind of a round of applause, but also a big boo, because Tom is leaving us. Oh. He's going on to bigger and better things. Um, and I am so grateful to you, Tom, um, for being my right hand person all of this time, um, you know, for, for, for stepping up. Uh, unfortunately, Samantha couldn't be here. She has uh, shattered her wrist in that disgusting new office that we are forced to be in uh, because it was Vince Connolly's old office and it's got bad juju. <laughs> uh, but I know that, you know, um, she is here with us in spirit. Uh, Tom, good luck. And it's her birthday today too. That's right. Oh, tomorrow. Yes, tomorrow we stand with everyone else. Tomorrow, tomorrow, Bernice. <laughs> Um, just join me in wishing Tom all the best. All the best. For all the best. Thank you. Thank you. Thank I've normally, you know, kept it fairly casual and, you know, we normally call you Anne, but um, it's a great pleasure that I can depart your office as, uh, and refer to you as Minister Ali. Thank you. We said during the election campaign the goal was to get to a full percentage point margin, which had never happened um, in your time as a member, but we wanted to know the result on election night. 
and we uh, we achieved those and then some. And it's um it's been an honour and a privilege to play a part in that. Thank you, Anne. Thank you. Also, the uh, uh, author of the world's best pay payoff. What would you like? Risotto. World's best risotto. <laughs> None of us have ever tasted it, but apparently that's what he has. Um, so I may be minister, but I want you to remember that I'm always Anne to each and every one of you. Please remember that. Promise me you'll remember that. Annie, Annie. Excellent. Okay. Thank you so much. Eat, drink and enjoy and give each other a pat on the back. Give each other a hug today because... It's a wonderful thing that you all did. Thank you. Thank you. And we're just going to do a quick photo, so I'm just going to ask everyone.